Let's talk about how to balance chemical equations using a graphing calculator. In this video, I'm going to use TI-84, but you should be able to use TI-83 also to do the same thing. Let's look at our first equation. We have H2 plus O2 producing H2O. And obviously, this equation is not balanced because you got two oxygen on one side, but you only got one oxygen on the other side. So how do you, how can you balance this equation using a calculator? The first thing you need to do, you need to generate a matrix. You need to make an A by B matrix such that A is the number of elements that you are dealing with and B is the number of terms that you are dealing with. So in this case, how many elements do you have? You have hydrogen and oxygen. So you have two elements. And how many terms do you have? You have hydrogen, you have H2. You have O2 and you have H2O, so you have three terms. So you gotta make two by three matrix. And how do you make matrix? In TI-84, you click X minus, oh, you, get, you click second, you click the second button, then you click the X to the negative first, and that should get you to matrix. And let me show you, this is TI connect. You wanna go over to the matrix, and you want to go over to edit, so you're gonna scroll right twice and you're gonna click on A and that should get you something like this. And you wanna plug in two times three for the dimensions because once again, we wish to make two by three matrix and you want to plug in the numbers, but what do you plug in? What do you plug in? Well, what you plug in, think of the first row, think of the first row as being the hydrogen and think of the second row as being the oxygen. So each row is dealing with its own element. And you're going to look at how many hydrogens you have for the first term. How many do you have? You have two. So two is going to go right here. How many hydrogens do you have for the next one? You have zero. And whenever you have the arrow sign, whenever you have the produce sign, you want to draw an imaginary line in your head. And everything to the right of this imaginary line is going to have negative sign. So for the last one, you have two hydrogen. But since this thing is to the right of the produce, produce sign, you are going to put negative two instead of positive two. Now let's go over to the oxygen. How many oxygen do you have for the H2? You don't have any. How many oxygens do you have for the second term? You have two. How many oxygens for the last one? You have one, but you want to put the negative sign. So plug this in into the matrix. So let me plug it in. Two, zero, negative two, zero, two, negative one. Zero, two, negative one. So you should, you should get something like this. Two, zero, negative two, zero, two, negative one. You can exit out. You can now exit out and you want to click you want to you want to go over to matrix once again so go over to matrix and you want to go over to math so scroll so click this and you want to go all the way down to reduced reduced row echelon form so r r e f it's it's the b and click click reduce row echelon form and you want to plug in the matrix you want to plug in the matrix a so you want to go over to matrix once again and just click enter and that should get you reduced row echelon form for A and click enter once again and they should produce a matrix that you can use and what you want to do, you want to click math you want to click math so that should get you to the screen that looks like this click enter to convert the matrix to fraction click enter uh, to, com to convert the, each element in the matrix to fraction and you should obtain a matrix that looks like this 1 0 negative 1 0 1 negative 1 half so let me copy this copy and I want to paste I want to paste uh -huh, let's paste it yes so I pasted it so let me put it down below and let me rewrite the equation the equation was the equation was H2 and you also have O2 and you are producing H2O. What this matrix is telling you is that the answer, ignore the negative sign, is 1, 1 half. So you want to plug in 1 and you want to plug in 1 half and for the last term the answer is always going to be 1. So what this matrix is telling you is that the answer to balancing this equation is 1, 1 half and for the last one, it's always going to be one. But what's the problem with this? 
The problem is we have a fraction which you do not want to have. How can you get rid of the fraction? By multiplying by 2. So you want to multiply by 2 to the oxygen. But whenever you are multiplying by 2 to something, you got to multiply by 2 to every single thing. So you got to multiply by 2 to the entire equation. So you have 2H2 plus O2 produces 2H2O. So that's the answer. Now let's do something harder. Uh, I have this equation. Uh, aluminum Al plus HCl is producing AlCl3 plus H2. So how do you, so what matrix do you make? You make, how well, wh what by what matrix to start with? How many elements do you have? One, two, three. So it's going to be three by, how many terms do you have? You have one, two, three, four. So you have four terms. So you want to make three by four matrix. And let's let the top row be aluminum. The next row be the hydrogen and the next row be chlorine. So you have one aluminum for the first term, you have zero aluminum for the next one, you have one aluminum for the third one, but since that's to the right of the arrow, you want to put negative one, and you have zero for the next one. For the hydrogen, you have one, zero, one, zero, negative two, chlorine, zero, one, negative three, zero. So you want to plug this in into the matrix. Let me, let me do just that. And I did. So you have 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, 0, negative 2. And you want to do the reduced row echelon form once again for the, for the matrix. I'm doing it just now. And you want to change it to fraction. So you should get matrix that looks like this. Let me copy this. Copy. And I want to paste. I want to paste. I want to paste this. So they're telling us the answer to this. Let me rewrite the equation. A aluminum and HCl and it's producing AlCl3 and H2. They're telling us the answer is two thirds, ignore the negative sign, two, two thirds and one. They're, it's always going to be one for the last one. So that, that's what they're telling us the answer is. But obviously, we do not want to have fraction. So we can multiply by 3 to get rid of the 3 at the bottom. Multiply by the same thing to this side of the equation. And you should get 2 aluminum plus 2 times 3, 6 HCl is producing 2 AlCl3 plus 3H2. And that's the answer.